I remember the first show I ever did in front of people was at Al's Bar downtown. Al's Bar was like Filthy McNasty's, you know? If you remember what Filthy McNasty's was like. It's a, an adult bar club kind of deal. It wasn't like the hair metal scene that we had down here. This was like just a lot of carousing and the sound of bottles and laughing and, you know, bikers and older alcoholics. <laughs> My dad had a friend named Phil Lee, was his name, and he had a band. And it was a touring band. I think they'd just gotten a record deal. So he asked me if I wanted to go down and check it out, you know? I've been going to bars with my dad since I was a baby. <laughs> we went down there and my dad just sort of wantonly said, why don't you have, you know, Slash get up on stage, right? And I think I was 16, I'd only been playing a couple years. It was scary, but I didn't have time to be scared because the option to do it was yes or no right there in the moment. So I just said yes without thinking. Jump first, ask questions later. As it was leading up to the time where they were gonna call my name is when I remember getting a little bit more and more nervous as every song went on until it was like right, up, you know, the song before I had to get up there. And then that was, I was pretty petrified at that point. But, you know, that's how it goes. You just sort of, you get up there and you just do it. I was like the guest guitarist, so it was really sort of put the spotlight on me. You know, there was a Stone song, there was a Creedence Clearwater song. I think we did Proud Mary, you know, Tina Turner, I think Tina Turner. And a Beatles song, fuck, I can't remember which one. I think it was Money, actually. And then the other thing was, of course, that I, although I know these songs and I grew up with them, I hadn't necessarily played all of them. <laughs> so you just had to sort of wing it. I think there was actually a positive reaction to the, the solos that I did. There was sort of like some yells and stuff, so it was encouraging. I remember that, I was encouraged. That was like a definite feather in the cap kind of thing. If I showed up at school the following Monday, you know, I could say, yeah, I jammed over at Alice Bar last night. Yeah, man, it was cool, you know. Did a couple Stone songs, you know. <laughs> Anyway, so that was my first first gig, and I kept me up there for all those songs. It couldn't have been too bad. But looking back on it now, you know, I'm thinking, God, fucking, those guys really took a sort of chance getting me up there. It was a weekend, so the place was packed, <laughs> you know. So that was my first ever, you know, sort of professional gig, but really my, my first time ever playing in front of more than two people.